Good morning. Jeez, this color. <laughs> this color is so crazy, man. I ordered a new grill. This one has kind of gone to crap after a year of having it starting to bubble up. So I went with all black, gloss black. Good morning to all of you. Hope you're having a wonderful start to your day. I'm still not used to this color. <laughs> it's just crazy. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. In the garage with a thick whip. Today we're doing boot mode stage two. So I've been running stage one 93 octane for a few months now. And it's incredible, like it's such a game changer with these cars. But I do have the ability, now that we're getting a downpipe, I have the ability to go to stage two. So this has been a highly requested video by you guys, and I just want to do it. I've wanted to do this for a while. There's a couple of things that I'm going to do in this tuning process. For one, we're turning off the cold start. You'll see why. Two, I'm going to show you guys my verbal settings so you guys can screenshot them, because I have a lot of people asking what they are. And then, of course, three, we're going to go to stage two. And I'm going to show you guys my reaction, what I think about it, how to code it. It's pretty simple. Um, links to everything that you need to do this are down in the description as well as the Pro Tuning Freaks boot mode bundle. But first, before we do anything, why don't we just go ahead and do a cold start. This car is super loud. Super, super loud on cold start. So that's why I'm going to be turning it off. Um, I just don't want to be pissing off my neighbors or anything. <laughs> tones in this color changed so much. There's like maroon, red, copper, some like purple. It's just crazy. So I just wanted to get like a fresh feeling of the car running on boot mode stage one. Um, once it warms up here, I'm gonna do a couple of just easy pulls. And then we'll head back to the house and do the actual coating. Good morning. Starbucks, what would you like today? Good morning. Can I have a lightly iced venti latte with coconut milk? So do you want that hot with a little bit of ice or iced with a little bit of ice? Iced with just, yeah, so iced with just Light a little ice. bit of ice, yeah. Some people like to add ice just so it cools down a little bit. I feel so you. got a venti iced vanilla latte. Yes, ma'am. Um, lightly iced. Yes, ma'am. Is that all? That'll be it. All right, come on here, please. Coffee is acquired. The light ice is crucial. Got to make sure you get them with that light ice. If you don't, they fill the whole thing up with ice. First of all, iced coffee is just amazing. But the light iced coffee, that's the move. That is the move. Yeah, this car sounds so good. Dude, for a four cylinder, this car sounds amazing. My other mount actually broke. So I have to like use my gorilla pod and wrap it around the headrest. So you might find that <laughs> it's a little bit shaky, but as long as we can get it to stay there, I think we're gonna be okay. All right, second gear. Whew. Dude, this car, for an N20, 328, this car rips. Not even gonna lie. It's so funny because it's such a different driving experience compared to the M3. The M3 is just all horsepower, like it's all top end. That car lives in like the 5,000 to 8,500 range. It just comes to life. This car is just so torquey. It feels so good in like the low RPM range. Third gear. Man, dude, this car feels great. All right, so let's roll back to the house, throw on the stage two tune, and we'll do this again. All right, guys, so we're back in the car. So a few things to note when you're doing this, you're gonna need an OBD to ethernet cable to connect your 
computer to the car. So the way that this works is you just plug this in, same way that you would do the OBD2 adapters for Beamer Code. Plug it into your OBD2 port, and then you plug the other end into your computer. And that is how we're gonna hack into, hack into the mainframe. That's how we're gonna hack into the main. That's how we're gonna tune our cars, bros. You wanna have your seatbelt fastened while you do this. And before everyone freaks out and says that I don't have my seatbelt fastened, I actually have an adapter that you can just plug in. And uh, allows you to kind of drive your car without the seatbelt in, without it making an annoying chime, even though I already coded that out of my car, so. Anyways, gotta have the seatbelt plugged in. Um, you wanna put the car into accessory mode. So, foot off the brake, hit start stop once. Car goes into accessory mode. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and open our boot mode OBD agent. It's always a good idea when you guys are doing this to turn off any of the AC or lights or anything that you have going on so you're not sucking all the juice out of the battery. So I'm gonna do this along with you guys while the screen is up here and I'm gonna show you a few things. We're gonna be taking out the cold start. I'm gonna show you guys a snapshot of my verbal settings um, just because I've had a lot of people ask about it. I really like the way that I have my verbal settings in this car. It's not too aggressive. It's just enough to hear it when you wanna hear it in sport mode, but it's not over the top. So I'm not trying to be like hot boy out here with a super loud car all the time. That's why I like to run it the way I run it. We're looking at the agent here. It says, uh, Agent OB2 connection to vehicle is up, so we're good. So let's go ahead and open up our intro net. The WWW. And the way that I'm connecting my computer to the internet right now is via hotspot on my phone. That's just how I prefer to do it. Um, you do have to have Wi-Fi in order to do this through your computer. So you see I have map details, maps. Uh, I'm just gonna bring that up. Bring me over to boot mode. Cool, so you'll see right here in the left under vehicle, it says OBD connected. That means we're good. Dashboard gives you a bunch of crazy cool values. Sweet man. I'm already running the transmission flash. Go to my maps. You'll see I have the stock tune and then stage one. So we're gonna hop over here to OTS maps. Let's scroll down. Now you see they have a bunch of different stuff that I can do. The one that I'm gonna choose is the Stage 2 93 Octane. So as you can see, I downloaded my Stage 2 93 Octane map. We're good to go, hit OK. Cool, so now we have the tune, it shows up under my maps. I have Stock, Stage 1, and Stage 2. We're gonna jump in to Stage 2. And then if you look up in the top right, you're gonna see Configure, Cold Start, Off. I no longer want the cold start. Verbal settings, custom. These are definitely different than the ones that I have in my stage one. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back to my maps, go to my verbal settings in stage one, because I really like the way that my verbals are right now. And I don't wanna change that. So I just took a screenshot of the verbals in stage one. And now, I'm gonna go to my new map, hop into configure, Go back to burbles, go to custom, bring up my screenshot, and now I can kind of get an idea of where I want everything. Because like I said, you guys, I don't really want to be messing with it too much. Looks like that's about halfway, about halfway. Aggression, pretty far down. Um, the aggression is just like how much of it is just constantly burbling. I have the differences for Sport Plus and Sport, so I can just change it whenever I want. Minimum speed all the way down, and the rest look pretty similar about there. So that's about the way, if you guys wanna screenshot this right here, that's how I like to have my verbals. That is how I like to set it up. I just think that that's the best way for me. It's aggressive when I want it to be aggressive, it's not crazy all the time. I honestly don't like the car burbling all the time. It can get annoying. So now that we have this all set up here, we go to save changes. Uh, all right, stage two, let's hop into it. Let's start the coding. High flow down pipes, front mount intercooler, recommended. My car is full bolt-on. So I pretty much have everything, uh, like direct easy bolt-ons, charge pipe, front mount intercooler, intake, 
um, inlet pipe, uh, catted down pipe, exhaust, diverter valve, not that that really matters. I have basically all of the necessary bolt-ons to do this, um, but they do say that you should at least, at minimal, make sure to have a high flow down pipe and a front mount intercooler. So let's hit flash, you guys. Confirm, battery charger is highly recommended. Turn off all your stuff. Driver's seatbelt plugged in. Remember I got that little adapter, so don't freak out. Cool, flash. Yeah, stage two. Stage two. Dude, I'm stoked. I'm actually really excited to have stage two in this car. So what I was saying before you guys, the reason I really like boot mode is because it's reliable. Like, I'm not trying to be the fastest car out there. I'm not trying to be the fastest 328th out there. Just like my car to be quick, peppy. And um, this is just an easy way to do it without risking anything in the car. So the car is throwing up a bunch of errors, chassis, stabilization, all sorts of stuff. Uh, this is normal. This is part of the coding process. It's resetting your ECU. So just let it do its thing. Gotta wait five seconds, then we can go ahead and start the car. Um, I think from here, we're just gonna jump into some POV driving. Like I said, this is kinda how I have it rigged up, you guys, for the driving. It's not the best, but bear with me until I get my new mount. Um, hopefully you guys can see everything in here. And we're just gonna go for a little cruise. Tell you what I think. Um, there was a check engine light, but all I did was turn it off and turn it back on and it went away. So as far as I know, with these tunes, you guys, they adapt to your car over time so um, the car should theoretically perform a little bit better maybe get a little faster Parking mode on. oh thank you black view f30s everywhere f30 there lci f30 next to me this dude this dude's got like subs in his car or something man dude his gas cap is like opening from the subs yep we're gonna race him for sure Dude, I don't know, you guys obviously can't see it, but this F30 just tried to race me and he got darshed. Dude. Maybe if you took those subs out of your trunk, bro, you'd be able to keep up. So initial pull, dude, that felt really good. This car feels great. Do you guys hear how the car in between gears now, it's more of like a crack, like a pop crack. It used to be more of a fart. And then once I got the downpipe, it changed to like this crack. It sounds so sick. We're gonna do a pull right here. Um, this is gonna be like a higher end pull. Uh, going 50 right now. Dropping it down to fourth gear. Woo! Dude, this thing feels great. It is dramatically different, you guys. Stage one to stage two is a jump. Some girl just broke her neck in an Aston Martin. Is that a Tom made that? Woo! Dude. Uh, yeah. It feels great, you guys. Stage two, money. Money. Oh God, it feels so good. It feels so good. My brother and I are gonna do some pulls again soon, you guys. I've had a lot of people requesting more, more races against the Type R, which I think is just a really good matchup because the cars are similar in like power. I mean, obviously he has more top end and I have like better torque, but it's a fun race because it's close. It's close. I think that ever since I've done the downpipe and a few more mods and stage two, I think that I'd be able to take them, to be honest with you. But he also just figured out launch control in that car. So he was never using launch control when I was racing him. Granted, I wasn't either. So I plan on doing a couple more videos. And then he also wants to race the M3. So we're going to do some races against my brother. This car sounds so good. Dude, stage 
too. Feels so good. This car, I love this car. I just love it. It's just so sexy and it's such a comfortable but fun car to drive. So man, you just get the best of like all worlds with this car. It's so versatile. And I can definitely say that with confidence now that I have the M3 and I drive this like daily now. And the M3 is kind of like the weekend car. But this car is just so fun. It's so fun. Anyways guys, the boot mode stage two is incredible. It definitely made a huge difference in all gears, horsepower and torque. Definitely torque, dude, the car rips. It ripped for a 328, man. Like this car is is fast for a 328. You guys already know that like I just do this because I love this car. It has nothing to do with being the fastest. I have friends with 335s and 340s that are incredibly fast, like so fast. My car would get dusted. But if you have a 328, dude, pro tuning freaks, boot mode, they kill it. Huge shout out to my sponsor, Keys Motorsports. They are the guys who set me up with boot mode and I am absolutely an advocate of boot mode. Since I've done stage one, the car is completely transformed. It just went from a car that was quick to a car that was fast, in my opinion, in my opinion. Some of you were looking for footage of this car out in the actual sun. I'm telling you guys right now, like dude, this color is so wild. It's so wild. It has maroon, almost like a violet and a purple in it. It's got the red in it. Like what? So some of you guys were commenting that the wheels should be black. No, absolutely not. You gotta have contrast, man. And everybody does black. Like everyone would do black. That's what you would do. That's the whole reason why I didn't do black. I like to be different, guys. I like to be like everyone else. But this color, you could do it. You could rock black, you could rock gray, you could do silver rims. I just like the bronze, man. I love the bronze. The bronze with that burgundy, whew, that is the matchup, fellas and ladies. There's only 8% of you ladies in here. This is a total sausage fest. But here, you guys can see why I'm replacing this grill. Dude, it's all jacked up. It's like bumpy and the carbon is just like warped. This was like a cheaper grill anyways, but I'm doing the exact same double slatted grill, just all gloss black. I kind of want to like minimize some of the carbon fiber I have on here. I feel like it's a little bit over the top. So I'm going to pull back on some of the things, but I'm so in love with this car. Like I could never, I could never get rid of it. Even though I have the M3, this car just has like a special place in my heart. Ugh, just so sick. I just love this car, man. How do you guys feel about the trunk? Well, not so much the trunk, but how do you feel about the wrap with the license plate? I dig it. I just like how it separates the carbon, like it's not too overbearing now. And it also makes the carbon on the plate kind of pop. I dig it, man. I'm not out here trying to do everything that everyone else is doing. I'm out here trying to be original and different. And that's why you guys see me doing some of the things I'm doing and that's why I get some of the hate that I get. Because I'm not doing the things that everyone wants me to do. And in my opinion, that's good. You guys gotta stay original, man. Stay original. I'm absolutely in love with this color though. No doubt. No doubt. This color is just sick. Just look at it change. And I'm telling you right now, this color, like right now, how I've had it set up, all I've done is drive it home from a show and a shop. This thing snaps necks. Just breaks them off. Breaks them right in half. Heads just rolling on the ground. So dope, dude. I love it. I love it. All right, back to boot mode video. All right, man. So hopefully you guys dug that. Boot mode, stage two, on the F30 gotta do it man boot mode is just so dope it's so dope it's so easy to do and it's like reliable if you're if you're someone like me who's not trying to have the fastest car but you just want to tune your car with something safe that you still have a lot of fun in it and you're not looking to be like the fastest dude on the street dude pro tuning freaks boot mode absolutely kills it there's a reason why it's so popular you guys it's a reason why that tune is so popular it's a great tuning platform it's a great tuning it's not a piggyback it actually flashes your ECU. These are made for these engines. 
dude, it's the way to go. You can do custom maps too. You can request custom maps from them. So if you guys are gonna do this, make sure you get the full bundle because you wanna be able to flash your car multiple times. You wanna do stage one, stage two, and so on and so forth. If you just buy one, one map, then you're stuck at one map. And then you gotta pay another $50 later in order to upgrade to get all the other maps. So you might as well just buy the 640 some dollar OTS bundle because that's gonna get you everything. And I'm telling you right now, if you go stage one, inevitably at some point, you're gonna wanna go to stage two because <laughs> dude, the jump, it's a big jump. Like I know you guys heard me before talk about how stage one to stage two was a big jump. And I was just doing that based off of what other people said. It is a big jump. It is a massive jump. I'm telling you guys right now, like I'm so grateful and like humbled to have two of my favorite cars in my garage. E90 M3 in Alpine White, the F30, 328i, full bolt-ons, stage two boot mode, and red black iridescent. <sighs> Even when I got the M3, I was like, man, I really hope that I don't fall out of love with the F30. So it was good to have the F30 gone and get wrapped because I got to learn about the M3 and drive it and get used to it. And then I got back in the F30 and I was like, oh dude, I love this car. I just love this car. I don't know, it's unexplainable. It's the feeling of driving this car. They're two different cars and I love them both for their own reasons. But dude, I love the F30. I'll never get rid of it. Anyways guys, I appreciate you all so much. Just hit 15K. Oof, 15K. About to hit 20K in no time. We're gonna hit 100K in no time. Like I don't just, you know, you guys see how much content I'm putting out. We're gonna be at 100K in no time. I'm confident of that. So I'm gonna do the giveaway. I'm actually gonna record the giveaway and figure out who won it today. And then I'm gonna actually put the video out probably after this one, but I'm excited for whoever won it. I got the carbon fiber spoiler at my house, cleaned it up, ready to ship. It's all gonna be random. I just put the YouTube URL into a website and it just picks, so. It's all gonna be fair, man. It's all gonna be fair. But I definitely wanna see whoever wins it. Hopefully they have an F30 and I wanna see it on your car. Send me a picture of it on your car. That would be really cool. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go out and do a photo shoot of this car. I haven't done it like a photo shoot by myself in the sun. Um, I just wanna get some different photos of this car. So anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. If you are not subscribed, please consider. My name is John. I do all of 30 E90 content. I just love BMWs. A guy who loves cars and BMWs. Make sure you guys comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification. Just like that, this video's over. We're out. Peace.